Hi, I'm Henry from Wild Birds Unlimited in Danvers, Massachusetts. And today we're gonna to show you how to install one of our advanced basic setups. So it starts with a baseball. This here, with the auger on the bottom, you're gonna take a screwdriver, put it through this hole, and that's gonna give you leverage to help screw it into the ground. Once this is a foot in the ground, this stabilizer will slide down the pole and keep the pole from tipping. Now, today, we're going to set it up using one of our ring bases, which would be useful if you were setting this up on a patio as opposed to in your lawn. So I'm going to take a four foot extension, slide that into our ring base, and then just tighten these thumb screws down on it. And then I'm going to take a three foot extension. I've already mounted this collar on here for a baffle. A lot of people have issues with squirrels. So this right here, this baffle, is going to keep a squirrel from climbing the pole, provided that you have it far away from things they can jump from. So I would say roughly about eight feet from anything they can jump from. I'm going to use this double arm on the top, and we have a lot of different arms, singles, doubles, some with leaves on them that are a little more decorative but I like the clean look of this one. So this is just gonna slide down, and then we hang feeders on the end. So basically, this is all set. Now, I am going to add a suet feeder to this pole. This little thing right here is for suet, and it'll just jam on the pole, and that's gonna help attract things like woodpeckers. And this here is a little branch. This is easily installed, like the suet feeder. It just jams on the pole. And what this would do, instead of a chickadee grabbing a seed and flying away to a shrub to open it up, the chickadee will go from here over to this branch and open it up here so you get a better view of the chickadee. So that's our basic setup. If you were doing this in the winter and the ground was frozen, that base pole, if you just boiled some water, that would allow you to get through the frost. So this really can be installed at any time of year. Um, so thank you, and uh, we hope to see you soon.